Hello and welcome to our YouTube channel. Today I want to provide you some information about firmware updates of Baluf devices for the future. We have here the sample with the BNI00HL, the new Baluf Profinet IO Link Master. And therefore we jump over to our screen. That you see here our Baluf engineering tool or short BET. The BET is a really mighty tool from Baluf. We can use it for different actions like uh, parametration of uh, IO-Link devices, copy, save topologies and make things around the whole environment of the machinery with the Baluf IO-Link masters and IO-Link devices. So after you installed the software and created an admin account with a password, you can use this for login into the BET software. After the, you have done that, you have different possibilities to work with the Baluf IO Link Masters. If you have it really new um, with se uh, factory settings, then you have to use the network settings because normally then they have no IP address and no Profinet name that you can find it in the network. Otherwise, if you have built it directly in the machinery, you get from the PLC, the IP address and the Profinet name, you can start directly with the scan button here on the right side. The networking settings are the first step. You can discover your different network controllers. In my case, I have here this one. And click here on the right corner where my picture is, but I'm really sure you will find the button uh, scan for devices. And then the system will discover the connected network devices and show you in a list what he found. Then you can adapt the Profinet name, you can adapt the IP address and so on and so on. And then proceed with the further steps. In that case, I only want to show you for short that we can adjust here, for example, the IP address. Otherwise, if it's empty, you can fill in all the necessary stuff. You can select all of these devices, but in our case, we only want to manipulate the last one. Click on the right side for write to device and accept the warning note. Then the device will be overwritten with the new information you provided. And after this is finished, you can close the screen and continue with the scan process. So it's done. Next step is to scan the network. You have also to discover your uh, controller. On the left side, on the right side, you will find two possibilities. First is the Profinet scan or the Ethernet IP scan. In our case, the BNI00HL is a Profinet device. So we click on the button search for Profinet. This will proceed as before. He will discover now with the Profinet um, connected all the deliverable devices. You see here we have here two connected devices. You have here a lot of possibilities on the right corner. But for our case, we proceed with the last one, continue with our change, because then we are already done. We don't have to uh, enable the IO link ports and so on. In the end, you have here the topology. You can grab it and position it like you prefer. But this is not necessary at all for the firmware update. Here on the right side, you will find the folder firmware update. If you jump in, you see here the case that we have two BNI00HL and they have different firmware versions on. If you have more than one device with the same firmware version, you will get here on the device count the number with the same order code and the same firmware version. We see in the end what I mean with this. Here you have the available firmwares you have already preloaded in your software BET. Otherwise, you have here the possibility to add other firmware files from your folder where you have stored them. Only select it. This will be imported. And if you are done, you have here now the SC6. And you can also delete stuff this was you not use in the future. So now you see the latest one is the RC7. And here we selected for both this firmware version. Click on the right side, update device, accept this notification. 
and then the update process will be start without any other steps. You see here approximately two minutes remaining to finish up the process. Now he uploads the firmware file to the master, start the update process, make a double restart and then the device is updated already. You see here one important thing. If you make this firmware update, please do not switch off the power or the network communication to the device. This is really important, otherwise your update process will fail. So now we have to wait patient until the first one is ready. Then you will also see the time will decrease to one minute after the first one is started. So you can calculate roughly one minute per master. So if you have, for example, five masters connected in your machine, you want to do an update of all five at one time. It takes roughly five minutes. So you can walk away, have a coffee, make some other important things until we finished the update with the master. So you see the first one is already done. The second one has also started. It makes it sequential. That means the first after the next and so on. Because if you have them aligned to each other with the network communication, I mentioned in the end he makes a double restart. In, and at that point you will lose the communication to the other connected devices. And so may the firmware update will fail. So this is the reason why the software makes now the firmware update master per master to ensure that every master stays online with the software during the update process. This is really important to understand why it makes it sequential and not at the same time. So you see now 75% are already done. The update is executed. The device is rebooting. And in the end, you get a summary of your update process because if you have a coffee and come back and then you see maybe one is dropped then you get here the report in the end that everything is passed or not what's happened that you see all the devices are updated then you can close this page and then I will show you in the end now we have two devices with this specification and not as before two with different firmware version. Now, if you select another firmware and click the button, then it will automatically do the update for this two. Yeah, that's all at this point. So have fun with the software. I think it's make life much more easier with firmware updates in the future with Valve devices. This one is the first, the BNI 00HL, but be sure we will have a lot of more in the future ready to follow this principle. Have a good day. See you soon. Bye bye.